Let's go ahead and start here once again in Tabular Editor. We're going to navigate back to that advanced scripting section and uh, maybe put our hands on the keyboard here a little bit. So I'm going to actually just control and scroll in your wheel mouse or you can click on the zoom here just within that uh, chevron. So let's do selected period. Then we're going to look for a table. So capital T table period. And then we also want to now maybe add a measure. So add a new measure to the table. So let's go ahead and do tab just auto complete. Press enter, give this a little bit of breathing room. Let's do a tab there, just tabs over spaces. And now we're gonna do a total count of, we're gonna do double quotes. And then our concatenator is going to be a plus per, uh, selected period table, period name, comma. Do a double, double quotes here once again. We're gonna do count rows, open parentheses, single quote, just for a table. In the event we have a space in here, let's do a double quote here. Just close out our, our text. Plus, once again, our concatenator selected, period table, period name. Once again, just that same one we used above. Plus, uh, we're going to do that single quote again here to close out the table. Uh, close parentheses, double, comma, and then one more time here. Let's do a double quotes here for a string measurements. Close that out. And then right here at the very bottom, let's just do a semicolon just to close out this statement here. And just uh, let's go ahead and select our table here now. So we'll do orders. And then we'll press the run button or you can press F5 on your keyboard. Very cool. So if we look back at the table though, uh, I see this measurements was created. Awesome. Uh, a total count of orders, which was our selected table name. Yep, I remember that. And then uh, kind of a source here on the right hand side, count rows looking for that anywhere uh, kind of see it but it might actually be better to kind of concentrate here at the very bottom within our property so the expression uh, count rows I found it right here uh, the display folder measurements yep I remember that and then a uh, name is total count of orders all right so the add measure uh, kind of its arguments is first is gonna be the name second is gonna be the expression and then third will be the folder so if I save these changes, look back at my orders table, yep, there's the measurements. And then if I expand this out here just a little bit, we can see a DAX measure, yep, total count of orders. Very cool. So that's, that's pretty neat, uh, just that we're able to instantly create a script that writes back to our Power BI data model. But let's go ahead and undo that. So Control Z, or you can go to edit and just undo. But let's try this again here. Uh, just kind of using our kind of our script here because I noticed that this was very redundant this selected dot table dot name maybe we could store that somewhere so maybe in like a, a variable so just very similar to DAX we're going to use var so var we're going to create table capital N for name just a little camel case here equals and then we're going to store the selected dot table so capital T period and then that that property that we remembered here at the very bottom uh, it's going to be name, so our table name. And then we'll do a semicolon here just to close that statement out. And now we want to point to this variable instead within our measure. So let's update this. Let's remove that and just point to our variable. So table, capital N, name. And then here at the bottom, once again, we're going to remove this. And then pass in that table, capital N, name. We're going to select our orders table this time once again. And then we can press the F5 or the green button. So very cool measurements. Yep, total count of orders. Awesome. So everything is showing up here now. So that, that's pretty neat, uh, being able to do that here just within our, our variables. So let's try this also with customers and employees. So we're going to select both of these here now. You can hold Control or hold Shift if they're adjacent. Press that green red button or F5. Oh, an error. The selection contains more than one object of type table. Ugh, I don't remember that from the last time. So let's go ahead and maybe close this dialog box out. Uh, we'll just press that OK. And then what we need to start thinking about is maybe looping through items. So if we were to scale back out here now, let's get rid of all this text. Let's try samples. We're actually going to do a tutorial. Uh, so loop through all selected tables. Let's select this here now. So I see this for each 
loop. Let me get rid of this green kind of comment, just not needed for our example. Uh, but let's go ahead and put our hands on the keyboard here once again. So we're going to create that var for our table name. So var table capital N name equals, and then that selected uh, tables. I can see that here at the very top. So I just need to reference this variable earlier. So table period name, and then a capital N. Yeah, let me go ahead and fix that. Close semicolon, press enter. We're going to type out that table here once again. So table period add. So capital A, D, D, measure, open parenthesis. Yeah, let's press enter. And our first argument here was the name. So we're going to do double quotes, total count of double quotes here, plus table name, comma. Next one was going to be that DAX expression. So let's do count rows, open parenthesis, closed, or a single quote there, and then the double parenthesis, the concatenator plus table name plus double quotes, single close parenthesis, double quotes, comma. And then our last one, optional here, whether you want to do it or not, is the measure name. I'm just going to put it in my measurements folder. So just keep in mind that's optional. Closed parenthesis, semicolon here at the very end. And uh, just for good measure here, I'm going to add another semicolon here after line 11 just to wrap it all up we've got both tables selected press the green or f5 we ran it i can now see both in my customers and in employees i was able to create this measurements folder total count of customers do here once again total count of employees very cool so we can iterate over multiple items here so i'm going to save this back to our model if I expand out employees and customers, I now see these measurement tables. Very cool, very cool. But uh, I've kind of got a good feeling here. I don't think that we're going to be doing a lot of measurements, maybe against tables. It's probably we're really going to come back to columns. So let's do something here. Let's do that undo here once again. So I'm going to do Control Z. Uh, just kind of get rid of those. So what we're going to do uh, maybe this time is let's delete this script. Get out of here. Go back to samples, tutorials, loop through all selected columns. This makes a little bit more sense now. So through all columns. Awesome. So the var is going to be column this time. So just in any columns that I select, get rid of this comment here once again, just not for our example. And we're going to go ahead and press enter, enter. Here, let's go ahead and start once again here. So for our uh, column, Let's go ahead and type this here, period. Then we're going to do table. It's within the current table, period. Add measure. Open parenthesis. Press enter. First argument, once again, is the name. So I'm going to do sum of, double quotes for our string, plus for our concatenator. It's the column, period. And then that property is going to be name, so capital N. And then our comma. We're going to do double quotes here again. And this time we're going to do sum, open parenthesis. I'm not going to do the single quotes this time. So let's do double quotes. Let's do our concatenator. And I'm going to say column, period. And I'm going to use the DAX object full name. This way it returns both the table and the column name. I'm going to do the double quotes, close parenthesis, double quote, comma. Our third argument here, once again, optional, but it's going to make a little bit more sense here with being able to select multiple columns. So let's do measurement. Bring this back, close parenthesis, semicolon, one more time, semicolon here on line number nine. And let's expand out sales. Uh, let's do order lines this time. And if we select here now, let's do a couple different columns. Probably makes sense for our quantity, our unit price, and then also our picked quantity. So I'm just going to hold control to select all of these. I'm going to run this script, green button or F5, whichever you prefer. Measurements folder created three different columns iterated through. We now have the sum of quantity, sum of unit price, and then also our sum of picked quantity. Very cool. But knowing that probably we want to do more than just one measure at a time, so maybe not just the sum, but maybe we'd also like to maybe expand upon this a little bit more. So let's do enter, enter, do our column period table, period add measure, Let's do our open parenthesis, press enter. Let's do our tab. We're going to do uh, double quotes here. Let's do 
there we go. There's our tab. Double quotes, we're going to do average of uh, double quotes plus our concatenator column dot name. Ah, or probably would have been way better to put that in a variable, right? Well, let's keep going. Average double quotes or plus column dot dax object full name. Ah, oh, another variable. We should have just stored these in variables. Let's do our plus concatenate double quotes, close parenthesis, double quote, comma. Third one here, just our display folder. We're going to put this back into measurements, close that out, and then we're going to do a semicolon here just to, to cl close out that statement. Now we have these three selected. Let's go ahead and run this. Awesome. So if you expand out measurements, I see the sum of quantity, average of quantity, sum of unit price, average of unit price. We're able to deploy six different measures with just the click of a button. That's pretty impressive. So I mean, especially as you're starting to think, well, maybe I look at time intelligence. Maybe I can think about all these measures that I'm writing just over and over all the time. Uh, the exact same pattern here. Just I can maybe just create those all in a single script. So here, expanding out our measurements after we saved it back to the model, I can see all these that are deployed following a similar pattern. I love it. This stuff is starting to make sense. Very cool.